Here. You're, the Filipino lady used to do your laundry uh, yeah. when you were based over in Cebu? Yeah. Oh. The and, old time I was there, she done my laundry. Oh, that's... She's a nice girl. Nice people. Mm -hmm. This is my How uncle. How long were you over there? I was in the Philippines for five months. Wow. I, I, it's amazing. He remembers it. He was in the Philippines for five months on Cebu. I thought he was in Leyte, but he was in Cebu. Then I went from there to Japan. Oh, then he went over to Japan. Uh, well, I was in Japan, I guess, about three weeks. Then we come home. No. War was over. War was over, yeah. That was a happy time, huh? Thank goodness, huh? Yeah. You made it through. What did you say? Huh? You talked? Oh. What did you say? I said, thank goodness the war was over. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's an evil world out there now, isn't it? It sure is. I, Anyways, I think the Lord This is my favorite said, uncle, Uncle long. Harvey. And He's just great. Gone. He used to tell me his war stories all the time. I used to love listening to his stories every time he came and visited yes, us. Yes, he did. <laughs> well, tell him about how you snuck out to see your girlfriend, Daddy. Oh, yeah. you snuck out to see your girlfriend. Yeah, I, I, I out you snuck her. out and seen your girlfriend. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. We go out every night. And uh, one day. Christine, that was the girl. My, my girl, yeah. And he had a girlfriend too, right? Woody, he had a girlfriend too. And they lived in the old train station. So the trains didn't travel anymore, you know. And the, so she, they'd always walk in, and then we would. We were done before four o'clock and we'd leave. Mm -hmm. so we'd go out, we'd never come back in the daylight the next morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> never got caught? Oh, no, Woody, I didn't know. <laughs> so Woody and I just stay out all night. They had to call us about five o'clock. Oh. And we had to walk four miles back to the Wow. Uh, <laughs> One way. Nice. Yeah. I have to think a little bit. No, that yeah, that's no. fine. That's good. No. It's nice to get actual oh, account. They came in one day and Christine said she was 16. Never had a birthday. So I said, well, we'll give you a birthday. Uh -huh. that's, we had not. They didn't either. <laughs> so I said, you come in tomorrow. I said, 2 o'clock, and we'll give you a birthday party. Oh, that's nice. So she came in, and, was, and uh, her and Lily, Woody's girl. So I went over to the mess hall. I know the mess hall uh, officer were pretty good, you know. And uh, I'd haul them around still on my truck. And he'd go to the, down to the ships. Big stuff, you know. Uh huh. It was fresh brought from the, from the ship. States, yeah. Eggs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Nice. So well, I asked him if he wanted to give me for a birthday. He said, Geez, Harvey, I don't have nothing. He said, He got some uh, Vienna sausage, a can of that. Oh, the Vienna sausage, yeah. So they had a fence there. The girls wasn't allowed over that fence. <laughs> and that, but we could go out. So she, they come there. And so we snuck them over the fence and into my tent. <laughs> Uncle Harvey. <laughs> we are sitting there eating the Vienna sausage. Uh -huh. My uh, platoon leader, he come down through the area, you know. Emma, you and Woody, wandered up toward her and right away. Uh-oh. Somebody turned us in. Isn't that a shame? So we went up. 
I have an antacid. You uh, wanted to see us, sir? Yeah, he said that. Here you had girls under the tent. I said, yes, sir. He said, well, you know you wasn't allowed to have them. I said, yep. I know. So, oh. But I said, this is Christine's birthday, and she never had a birthday party. And uh, he said, well, he said, that'll just cost you, he said, a week. Never get out, you know, he's not allowed out of here, the area oh, for a week. That was your punishment. And boy, it was a beautiful day. Wow. And we went back down to the tent and the girls took off going back home. That's about as sweet as you can have it. Yeah, nice. I said, Jesus, I hate to stay in as nice as it is before. Red, white, and blue. Nice breeze. But Woody said, yeah, me too. So you... I said, what are we going to do? Woody said, I don't know. I said, let's go to Mandalay. <laughs> that was about three miles, four miles from camp. Oh, so no. So we snuck down back to the motor pool after we cleaned up, dressed up. Went up over a little, little hump bike, you know, and then we get down through a patch of woods. And down at the other end of the woods, there was a, an airport, of course, they didn't use it all, but it was there. We started down this road, you know, just two, two wheel tracks for cars. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Woody, I said, he just said, a, a vehicle comes and we hear it. I said, we better hide in the brush here. As it goes by, because I said, it must be either an MP or somebody just right. running around. So we was walking along there. First thing, it was down grade, they could coast down. Mm -hmm. Here we heard something behind us that turned around, looked, and there was a Jeep. Oh. A little Jeep pulled up alongside of us. They caught you? It was a guy who did this. Oh. So as soon as one mile out of camp, <laughs> we was already about a mile and a half away from camp. Oh no. And he said, get in there. Whoa, took you back? Huh? He took you back? Yeah, uh, that's what we thought. Oh. <laughs> so he took us back up where, where we come over the hill with the T in the road. And you go to the left, you went down into the city. You went to the right, you went over that little hump in our area. So that's where we thought we were going. We get up there, we turn to the left. Then we didn't know where we were going. Hey! I figured. Oh, oh, you got one. I figured he was taking us down to the city jail. Okay, we'll, we'll put it back. No, I'm going to let Mark get in the house. And uh, we went out, and the, the, road, the road turned to the left. I went up to my boy. Oh. And we went through my boy in the Mandela. Mm -hmm. So we get up to this, or turn to the right, and went down into the city. So. Jesus, he's there, he turned to the left. Then we didn't know where he was going. Uh-oh. <laughs> Give it our animals, He said, where, where are you guys going? I said, to my bowl, sir. He, he took us up, or right into the diamond of my bowl. I didn't mean to do bit. that, I meant to get oh. I get out, I oh, would he get out? We thanked him for the ride. Wow, you got a free ride. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, the dog. So, he sat there a little oh. bit, and we started walking towards Mandala. I was still four miles. Oh, four miles left? No, three. three it's about three. Oh, yeah. there and, uh, you go. So, good job. We didn't get on about three times the length of the Jeep. Uh oh. I said, oh, we had it. 
He says, get in here. And he says, where are you going anyway? And I said, to Mandawe. Well, he says, I ain't doing anything, just driving around, I'll take you. He, he took us out, he was going to pull him into Mandawe. There was a little hut there made out of bamboo and, and uh, coconut drones, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, sir, there's, there's where Christine lives. Oh. So he pulled right up in front of her door. And, uh, oh, nice. We got out. <laughs> you never, we didn't have a pass. We were supposed to have a pass. Yeah, of course. We didn't have a pass or nothing. He never asked. It. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, Soldiers do some funny things, huh? Yeah, so he just, he took off after we got out. <laughs> we thanked him for the ride. Nice. That's nice. We never did come in the next morning at daylight again. And you, nobody said anything? Never, never, I never said never. One day. Wow. Like we're supposed to have. Wow. Nice. That's a good story. I like that. I told you he was a nice officer. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I didn't know why. Yes. Because you're a nice man. You're a good man. And that's why. Anyway, I got to thinking. I was a barber. I had a regular barber, but then I was just on the side where I cut it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so here I'll come over and clean down through the yard. And, oh, that one, you don't want it up your room right away. So I went up, this was, oh, maybe a couple weeks before, before he took us. We went up, I went up to the order room and reported to him. I said, do you want to see me, sir? Well, I met him halfway. And, uh, he said, uh, I said, you want to see me, sir? He said, get down and get your tools and set and cut my hair. <laughs> I, I said, okay. So he turned an ammunition box up on the right there in the middle of the area. Sit down on it, waited. Waited for you. <laughs> I went back and out. And I got word down that, you know, before I went back up, I heard him talking. Here he went. Gordon was out and had gotten trouble. And he was getting for a week. And then he went to Gordon to get his hair cut. Oh. <laughs> Old Gordon, he cut it, but came down, you know, and straight in like a girl. And <laughs> he didn't like it. I and back up, you know, and he was sitting there waiting on me. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, well, sir, I said, you got a haircut. He said, you cut my hair, he said, I don't want no smart remarks out of you. <laughs> I did. And, uh, That's cute. Now, so, I don't know <laughs> so all I had to do was just trim it a little bit, off, fix you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I could then, he laid $2 down on the right now, I box when he get up. I said, I don't want that, sir. I said, I don't. Well, I don't. I said, well, trim this hair, your hair up a little bit. And he says, you take out it. it's worth that. He said, to get them oh. damned officers up there in the tent. He said, to quit making fun of me. Oh, <laughs> it's worth it for him, huh? So I thought maybe that's one reason why he <laughs> Could be. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Yeah. That's we good. never stayed in camp, you know, in it. Mm -hmm. He must have saw us.